What's up, everybody? My name is William Thompson. I'm a Christian singer, songwriter, worship leader, recording artist, and producer. So basically, I love music. I've been doing music for as long as I can remember, longer even. Uh, And while I've always loved the performance aspect of music, I also have been in love with the and fascinated with the the behind-the-scenes aspect of it. So that includes the songwriting, composition, um, the recording process itself, arrangements, um, mixing, editing, all of that, which I learned is music production. I love music music production i love seeing how a song is fleshed out from an idea in someone's head and becomes the final product that we're listening to um so i love production um but we saw you know with the covid19 pandemic that there were some challenges that were presented to the creative community both in terms of performance and production um we saw that there were some people that were irreversibly impacted impacted in terms of uh, performance venues being shut down and things like that but we also saw the community pivot so we saw um, uh, platforms like versus arise we saw uh, opportunities like virtual tours and virtual concerts so that these artists could share their gifts share their talents um, and it's, it's always awesome to see us pivot um, but we can't it, we can't lie and deny the impact that it had on the creative community, even more so for independent artists like myself. Um, it has been a struggle, uh, but uh, it's been a learning opportunity at the same time. And I've learned so much over the past few years. And I'm so excited to share what I've learned with you all in my brand new podcast, Producing in a Pandemic. Say it with me, y'all. Producing in a pandemic. Uh, I have learned so much over the past few years, both during the pandemic as well as before the pandemic. And uh, I want to just grab, I want, I want to give this knowledge to you all. I want to share this knowledge with you all so that uh, you can be empowered the way that I was, so that you can know that indie doesn't have to be low quality oftentimes you know indie is considered to be low budget or uh lesser quality than uh what is typically heard in mainstream and that no longer has to be the case there's so many resources available to the common person that we are able to release high quality music and projects whether it's a single ep lp full album whatever it is we can release it at the same quality as Beyonce, as uh, Charlie Puth, as, uh, you know, whoever your favorite artist is, Adele, uh, you know, whoever that person is, we can release it at the same quality. It doesn't have to be low quality anymore. You know, just because you're cutting costs doesn't mean you have to cut corners. And just because it's low budget doesn't mean it has to be low quality. So, I'm going to be using this podcast and this opportunity to share with you some tools and resources that I use in my own personal production. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the processes that I use, I utilize to uh, record at home, as well as in terms of collaborating with other musicians and artists. Uh, And it's my hope to eventually be able to get some other guest speakers on here to talk about uh, some important uh, concepts, things like contracts, things like mixing mastering talk about some of those concepts and understanding the importance of those uh, in terms of the overall sound and quality of your music so i'm so excited you guys i'm so 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 excited and i can't wait to be able to talk to you guys about producing in a pandemic see you soon